I'm, I'm excited. You know, someone asked me the other day, they was like, are you, are you afraid or are you nervous? I said, no, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I, I'm excited to share and tell my story. And hopefully that telling my story and, and sharing my book will help many lives. You know, I've, I've had the opportunity to help many people, but I want to continue on that path. Hi, this is Alan Shea, and we are here in Los Angeles with Wet PR and the crew of tonight. So you're going to be in for a great surprise. And we're going to start by introducing some of the, the artists and some of the guests who's come through. But first, before we do that, we're going to introduce you to the man of the hour, Mr. Chris Black, PhD. Come on up, sir. We, 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 so we can, we can, we, we're going to start off with the gentleman of the night. Why don't we give him an applause? And, and why don't you start first by formally introducing yourself and, and, and why we are here tonight. Okay. So my name is Dr. Chris Black and we're here tonight because we're doing a pre-launch for my book, Achieve a Winning Mindset. on the stage and we're going to start tonight with music. Uh, and the reason is because I said music is my first love started with that. But music has taken me on a journey to where I am now to earn my doctorate degree in counseling. And, and that path has been an interesting path. Um, those two worlds, a lot of times, you know, I have some people who, they don't even know I play bass guitar. They don't even know I'm in the music industry because I only deal with them as clients on my doctor side. And then I have other people on the music side, they don't even know I do the other stuff. It's, sometimes it's like two different worlds. But my thing is, I want to bring those worlds together. Give us a little insight so the viewers will really understand why you were so passionate about making sure this information is brought forth, especially in the black community. Well, I mean, it's, it's about health and healing. So this book is just talking about just my journey and how I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and how I was able to overcome multiple sclerosis and now have 100% uh, mobility. I could walk and all of that, so I was able to overcome it. And this book is just a tool to help people uh, to get to their ultimate health. And last but not least, before we let you get engaged with your, your guests, uh -huh. why don't you share with, with the viewers really how important for them to understand your book and also you know, the time period it took for you to put the information together to make it work. I mean, the reason why it's so important because we, we all deal with, you know, whether it's emotional, mental, uh, physical health and it's important that we look in ourselves and make sure that we're living our best life and the only way that we can do that is is to look into all those areas of our life and with that being said we're going to look into everybody's life tonight as we party <laughs> we get educated so we're going to bring on up the next guest and this is the the significant other half of, of the yes. of the process isn't yeah. it okay <laughs> so, so why don't you introduce yourself to the audience hi my name is Tanya Tanya. And Tanya is going to just add her contributions to the journey and, and the support behind this gentleman uh, stepping out in our community to raise awareness about multiple sclerosis. Uh, well, this has been a labor of love. Um, Chris has worked on this tirelessly. I have watched him many a nights up, you know, making edits and preparing for clients and preparing for some of his speaking engagements um, and it, it just it really honored and I'm in awe to watch you know the genius behind the man that we call Dr. Chris Black and to see this all come into fruition and we're all here tonight to celebrate the release of his book and it's, it's just a beautiful thing it's a wonderful thing so I'm, I'm honored to uh, help him and assist him in anything that he needs to do. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, lost my ability to be able to walk. Could not use my hands. Now, imagine I said music. I've been playing music since a kid. I started playing the bass guitar when I was nine years old. My father was a guitarist, he played guitar and bass, so my whole family did music. So you can imagine. Just imagine you're doing something your entire life and you believe that this is your purpose. My music has taken me all over the world and I'm thinking, this is my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do. 
all of a sudden it's taken. The rug has been pulled from under you. I can't walk. I can't use my hands anymore. They brought my bass guitar to me and I couldn't even wrap my hands on it. It's, and every time I think about it, it, it even to this day, it's emotional for me because I remember those days. I remember sitting in the bed or sitting in the hospital not being able to take care of myself, being bathed, fed, washed like I was an infant, couldn't do anything for myself. And just years past, years before that, I'm traveling, playing for people, stadiums, and all that kind of stuff, and now I can't do it at all. And uh, we're going to make a, a signed book for the. Okay. So we're going to. This this is a, one of our living legends in the music industry. He's going to share his name and, you know, give us a little insight of you know some of the contributions. So young people who watch the show can really see knowing your history, paying the the dues to the yeah. pathway, and becoming uh, a shoulder that the next generation will build on. Well, I appreciate That's that what we intro. start with. Absolutely. My name is Preston Glass. Uh, I've been fortunate to have a career in music uh, for 50 years. Uh, I've been working with people like Aretha Franklin, Whitney Houston, Natalie Cole, George Benson. And so I've been around the block a little bit, but it's always good to be in a, an, an event where someone who has a very inspiring story to share uh, will be able to inspire me. And I can pass it on, so to speak, and encourage others with what Chris is trying to do. So imagine what that did to my mind. I was depressed. I had thoughts of suicide. Thoughts of, I used to imagine, I used to have a, a Ford Expedition. I used to imagine myself getting in that truck and driving into a wall. Because I said to myself, why am I living now? What is my purpose? I, I, I was 31 when I got sick. I was, and, and here's the thing, I, I not only was playing music, you know, I, I was, to be totally honest with you, I was being raggedy with my life. I was just raggedy. I was 300 pounds. Now, you look at me now and say, no, you know, I do have pictures. I want to show you. <laughs> Majority time when I say I weigh 300 pounds, no one believes it. But I have evidence of it. But I, I wasn't eating right. I wasn't sleeping right. I used to drink four Red Bulls a day just to stay up. Four. I used to keep a pack in my truck. Drink them all during the day just to stay awake. Um, share with the younger viewers because a lot of what our society shows about is educating the black community as well as the the non-black community. We don't want to discriminate here, but but it's real important to be educated. And certainly, why don't you share with the viewers how important health is for longevity in the music industry? That's extremely important. I mean, knowledge is power. And um, I, I believe that the, his story that he just shared a little bit of, of with me is going to inspire many others. I myself have a story of health in the industry and uh, how that is very important to pass on to others so they can learn from mistakes, learn from uh, things that we've done well, and then uh, help others on the right path. Wow, well, I want to thank you so much. And I think it's about time to come on up and pass that, that information of uh, health, wealth. Now I want you to enjoy. Read it from cover to cover. No. Wonderful, yeah. can't wait. Thank and, you and, and, and what I would like to share with you viewers, this is called Passing of the knowledge. So we're not passing our time, but we're definitely passing the knowledge. Would you say so, Doc? Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I look forward to it. Cover to cover, I'm going to read this. All Information right. is power. So All right. right. Thank you. I was not doing right with my life. I was not only physically not doing the right things, but I had some emotional and mental things that was going on. And it came to a point to where there was an artist I was playing for at the time, and I was really enjoying myself. Some of y'all may know who he is. Some of you may not. This guy's name is Les McCain. Hey, Les McCain? Okay. So, all right. I was playing with him. We was overseas. I come back home. I used to, I used to own a music and art school. 
and I was living in Houston, Texas at the time. And I had a music and art school, and I came home from on the road with him. I go to the school, and there's a piece of cake. Somebody has some cake. I got this piece of cake, and I blacked out. There was nobody there but me. I blacked out. I don't know how long it was I was knocked out. I came to, I called the director of the school, said, hey, you need to get over here. I need to go to the emergency room. I don't know what's going on. Not just to tell you just the mental state I was in, I just blacked out. So I'm gonna get in my car and drive to the emergency room. Could have killed myself or someone else. Not even thinking. So I go to the hospital, you know, they told me that, oh, you just, you know, you, you're dehydrated, and, you know, you, you just need to get some electrolytes and all of that. I'm like, okay, try to do that. They sent me on my way. And for some reason, my equilibrium, just from coming overseas, my time just didn't go back. I was sleeping in the day. I didn't know what was really going on. But I continued to drink the Red Bulls. I have to say I'm with my brother Wayne here. Yes, sir. Um, tonight is, is, is special yes, because the only time I can catch up with my brother is through Cassandra. So, you know, <laughs> we want to we want to let you know how important Cassandra is and bringing everybody together. <laughs> So why don't you share with the viewers how important tonight is, especially since we're talking about music and health. Well, I think it's extremely important. Uh, I'm, I'm caught off surprise. I didn't expect to be talking at all. I just came out to support Dr. Chris. And, uh, but he told me what he was doing, and he told me about his book, and it was something that I definitely wanted to come out and support, uh, dealing especially with his duality as a musician and a doctor dealing with wellness and mental health which is something that's important to me because I have had those same challenges in my life a lot of us have most of us don't really share it but it's not uncommon for especially those of us with creative gifts to be uh, faced with you know some challenges from time to time so anyway uh, what he's doing dealing with wellness and musicians is, 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 is quite necessary and special. So, you know, I wanted to be here and just show, show my support. Okay, and, and lastly, before we let you go, uh, Wayne is very instrumental in the music industries, television and production. Share with the viewers the stress and the, and the agony of bad health if you're not mindful, just to show people this is not, this is very serious. Well, I mean, that, 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 that's, that's a tough one. <laughs> I mean, the agony is, of course, if you don't take care of yourself, you know, it's going to take a toll on you and it's going to cost you. You're going to have to pay a price. So it's important to get your rest. It's important to pace yourself. It's important to eat as healthy as possible and be as healthy as possible. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, I've lost some weight recently. I'm trying to stay in shape. I'm trying to, you know, trying to take care of myself to the best of my ability. But uh, it's important that uh, that we do that because, like I said, you know, without that, 
the, the stress and, and the whole thing, you know. For me, you know, I was talking about mental health. The few times I've had uh, serious blowback with my health has been when I could not sleep. You know, I just could not sleep, and then without sleep, then you spiral. So it's important that you're able to rest, that you that you stay balanced, and uh, you know, and that you can stay as, as substance free as possible. You know, there was a time in my life when I was wild and crazy, a lot younger, and I did a whole lot of things that that really took took its toll on my life. You know what I mean? Cocaine, the type of drug. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't on the code there tonight. We're oh, just focus on the real health. No. So we all talking about health right, because right, all right, of these right. things are choices. Health right. is all about your choices as well. You know what I'm saying? You're healthy because why? You choose to do things that will lead to you having a healthier life. So you can't take these choices out, out of the equation and expect to be healthy. So anyway, like I said, that was a long time ago. I'm, I'm far removed from that. But I think that the fact that I'm not afraid to share that May be an inspiration, might be an inspiration to somebody who's still out here messing around because we're losing too many people. Because the stuff that they used to have in our drugs back in the day when it was quote unquote cool, now you got this fentanyl and other stuff that they're putting in things that you never know what's going on, you know. So I would just, you know, say, you know, stay safe, make the best choices you can. And this is coming from a man who knows, so uh -huh. I'm sure he's giving us some good advice tonight. I'm, I, I so with that boom. being said, thank you, sir. Continue the the rest of the uh, the engagement here, and here here's here's another strong woman who has made her contributions to the success of her better halves. Want to share with the viewers? Well, I've been Preston's wife for almost 37 years. We got married three weeks after we met, and I became his manager three years after we got married because somebody did us wrong. And he goes, "Baby, you're the only one I can trust." So I've been managing him with his publishing companies and his music um, labels. And we have one in London, and we've been doing very good, and we're very blessed. And I want to say that this is so encouraging to be here and to represent this man that we've never met before, but I'm sure we'll be lifetime friends. And last but not least, before I let you go, yes. why don't you share with the viewers how important managing all this with good health is? You know what? You have to um, ju do your juicing, um, you know, take your vitamins, and just try to stay well. With this pandemic, it's so hard, but we got to take care of ourselves so we can take care of others. Right. And I think that's the whole message of the night. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you, and good night. <laughs>
last but not least, why don't you come on up so you can you can close out and, and, and show the power quick, of the power of, the, of this man's uh, book tonight and really what what it does for the community here tonight in Los Angeles. Christian Bell Navis, actor, producer, writer. Preston and I have a company called Seep Ventures. Uh, but we just came out to support, you know, as a Chris, you know, us Chris has got to stick together. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And so it's just about helping the community and making sure that uh, we as a people understand and know what our health is about and what our health is. So we're just here to be healthy and get healthy. Right. Well, why don't you look in that camera and close out with the best advice you can get to young people so they can get prepared for their future. Oh, man, if you keep God first, you ain't got to worry about nothing else. But if you can't do that, get Chris' book, read about it and learn about it. It'll help you all your way. With that. Hey, we need not say anything else. Thank you so much. All right. And with that being said, we're going to start with our show tonight. So stay with us and enjoy. Leave the stage. We just want you to share with the, the 
the audience here. How important is a routine with health and music? Um, I said something earlier that really summed so a lot of it up. Um, your daily action and what you do, your life depends on. Simple as that. Now what, what are you, what are your conversations? What is your environment? What are you reading? What are you watching? What are, what are you allowing into your space? On a daily, it took you, you think about it, no matter how old you are, 30, 40, 50, you've been doing your body, your mind, away for years and years and years. So, so now, you have to take those steps. It's not going to be overnight. It's not going to be overnight. But you have to take those little steps today, tomorrow. You can't change yesterday. But what you do today can make a difference in your tomorrow. That makes sense? We are closing out tonight here at the Nile in Los Angeles, and I was able to catch one of the incredible attendees here, and she also bought one of the books. So we want to hear from her as to what, what did you think of tonight's evening, and then also what do you hope to gain once you read this book? Amazing. Thank you so much for having me, Alan. Um, I thought that this event was amazing. Uh, Dr. Black shared his story. I'm eager to get into the book. I'm eager to learn a little bit more about how um, he changed his mindset. Um, I look forward to taking away from this book that, you know, ways that I can incorporate the little itty bitty steps to, to become more successful and become even better moving forward. Um, small steps lead to bigger steps and that journey is forever ongoing. Um, yeah, I, this was amazing to be here, to listen to music, to hear someone speak, to purchase a book right here in the heart of Los Angeles. Well, before we let you go, we want to thank you so much. Uh, you, you're so eloquent in how you're presenting to the viewers really the substance here tonight. Why don't you share with the viewers really how important health and what you've heard tonight is so we can take this into the community. Oh, absolutely. I think health is... Uh, the number one thing that we should all be considered and, and concerned about, um, our community is struggling when it comes to becoming um, more healthy. I am have been plant-based for about eight years now and I'm a huge advocate of veganism and ensuring that we are healing our bodies through food. Um, that's also healing our minds, our bodies, our spirits, and our finances. And it all starts with what we consume. So you heard it right from an incredible young lady's mouth herself, and it wasn't scripted. So we want to thank you so much for that, that wisdom uh, coming from a young lady. And this is Alan Shea signing out from Our Society Show. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.